When working on the robot dance challenge, it's hard to start your audio so that the robot's moves line up with the music. Even if all the other timing in your program is spot on, if you start the audio too soon, the robot's moves will appear too late, and vice versa. In this video, we will be showing you two ways to start your audio file in your program so they line up. The first way is to open your audio file in one tab, and in another tab, open your program. Go to the audio file tab and start your audio file. Then switch to your program tab. When you hear the music start, press the play button to start your program. If you need your robot to be moving at the start of the song, the second method might appeal to you more. In this method, the first step is to insert two weight blocks at the beginning of your program. The first weight block will give you time to start your audio file before the robot starts moving. The second weight block will account for the delayed start in the audio in your audio file, if any. For the first weight block, Type how many seconds you think it will take you to press the play button of your audio file and put your program in full screen mode. We suggest 5 seconds, but you can always change this to accommodate you or your team. For the second wait block, listen to your audio file and note what time the audio starts. For our example, the audio starts 5 seconds into the video. This time is going to be put in the second wait block. To sync the program with the music, go into split screen mode. Start your program. Watch the timer in the corner of the playground. Start the music when the timer reaches the number you typed in your first wait block. Now put your program in full screen mode, and that's it. We hope this helped. Happy choreographing!